awkward girl. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to take photos when you're awkward. Whenever I take photos, I'm literally the most awkward person ever. This is the stuff that I do when I'm feeling awkward or to ease the awkwardness, if that makes sense. Just because you're awkward doesn't mean you can't take cute Instagram photos or just photos in general. The first step and probably the most important step for me is looking for inspo. I recommend going on Pinterest and finding photos that you personally like. Just pin ideas and you can organize them by setting or pose. I have a photo shoot folder on Pinterest where I do this and it makes it really easy to take photos because when I find a place I just go on Pinterest and go to the specific setting where I pin photos in that setting and look for ideas on the spot but of course it's kind of hard to do things on the spot so that's why I suggest planning ahead before taking photos or having that photo shoot obviously this goes with what I was just saying about finding inspo Pinterest isn't the only place to look for inspiration but also Instagram Instagram they show like accounts that you don't even follow but that they suggest to you and literally the cutest photos that I love always show up on my feed and I'm just like I really want to take a photo like this obviously it also depends on your own aesthetic and just the look that you want for your feed or just your photos in general just pull inspiration and just find photos that you like planning ahead will help you be a little more prepared later on when you're starting to feel really awkward we are currently on the top of a parking garage. At 9.32 p.m., our plan was to go to an empty place to take photos. I want to do like car night photos. So we came here, it was totally empty, but then guess what? Our luck, uh, car of teenage boys, <laughs> is here. Uh -huh. Also two bikers. So I'm here with Emily because having photo shoots with people who make you feel comfortable and who also want to take photos with you is really good if you're going to have a photo shoot and you're really awkward. If you guys watched my photo shoot vlog from like a year ago, you will see how awkward we were. And I feel like we've gained a little bit more confidence. A black top from Princess Polly. Some jeans. I don't really remember where they're from. I, they might be Princess Polly. Dirty Air Force ones. I'm just wearing these black jeans. Also this top and then I'm just wearing Fila Disruptors. <laughs> Fila Disruptors. Um, I, I still think these are relevant because they're Fila's. They will never go out of style. They never, they go, never out. go out. Oh no, sorry, oh, no, copyright. Sorry. Also, I forgot about my earrings. They're mushroom earrings from my sister's earring business. If you're feeling awkward and you never know how to pose, like that's literally me 24 seven, find like a photo that you like so that you can have like inspo. Found this photo on Pinterest. It's really cute and I just screenshot it. It's a little bit hard if you're awkward to just like think of poses on the spot. So it's a little bit easier if you already have like a plan in your mind. Our plan is to stick our head out the window. We're just gonna try this out and see how it works. The trick is to like keep taking photos as you go because you never know when there is a good one sprinkled in there, you know? There's three people that are currently here. They're on the other side. We're just gonna um, not care. That's what this is about. Not caring what people think of you. It's also nighttime. Still a little Still nervy, nervy though. though. Not gonna lie, this is like kind of awkward. <laughs> If you're following a photo, I recommend putting the phone with the photo right next to your camera so that it's easier and you can see the pose better as the photographer. So I never leave. We were playing Overdrive. It makes it less awkward, Loki. No one's around, just like playing music. Play a song that makes you feel confident when you're taking photos. My arm can touch the floor. Just finished taking photos. I know that some people go out by themselves and then take self timer pics. Personally, I'm still too scared to do that. I don't know when. I will have the bravery to do that. Like even just going out in public alone sometimes makes me a little anxious and like awkward. But if you want to get to that point, but you're scared, I recommend like having a photo shoot with someone first and then ease into feeling less awkward. So if you're having a photo shoot with someone else, just take photos with them, have someone that will hype you up and just like be awkward with you. 
So I'm gonna go through my Instagram photos really fast and explain where I took each one. So I try to find places as empty as possible. So as you see in this first photo, I already posted the one that I took in this video. There were a few people walking, but we didn't think that would happen since it was like nighttime. But anyways, parking garages are really good, especially because if you know that not many people are gonna be there, then that's good. This one was actually in a hotel room. Obviously there's no people in there and hotel rooms can have like really nice and cute background. This one was literally a mirror selfie and that's what I want to talk about next. And this one it was actually on like the sidewalk. There was actually a car right in front with someone in it. But I was just like, it's fine. Like I'm just taking photos. Kind of like the mirror selfie, but it's like a photo booth photo. This one was in an empty parking garage on an empty neighborhood corner, blueberry farm, and like no one was around. I got my mom to take photos of me. Also, my sister was helping me with poses. If there are, there people, are people walking people around, around, um, I just try to act like there's no one walking around. You don't always have to pick a specific location and go there, but you can also just go have a regular day outside. If you come across someplace that's pretty empty and quiet, try taking photos there. Also, taking photos doesn't always have to be outside because it can also be a cute mirror selfie. As you saw earlier, here's me taking like mirror selfies. I always love to post mirror selfies on my stories, but literally sometimes it's so doable to make a post out of it. I barely have storage. Taking cafe photos is doable because it's such a common thing to take just a cute photo with your food nowadays. Once you start warming up to just posing and smiling for the camera, then it just gets easier. <laughs> I feel like having a good fit is great for your photos to be less awkward just because feeling more confident in what you're wearing will make you feel less awkward. I feel like you should dress and get ready in a way that makes you feel confident. Also like hairstyles, if you have a certain hairstyle that you want to do in a photo, just because you feel confident in an outfit or a hairstyle doesn't mean you're gonna automatically and magically feel not as awkward, but it just like that confidence is what I love. Also just finding an outfit that also fits the vibe of the type of photo that you want. This outfit that I'm about to show you for this photo shoot was supposed to fit the vibe of the place which was called the Polkas Water Temple. I'll put a TikTok of the place. I specifically chose an outfit that would fit the vibe but then it ended up being closed. We had to go somewhere else to have the photo shoot. Usually I feel like most people never know what to do with their arms and that's me a lot of the time but some classic ones I like are the blocking the sun pose even when there's no sun or holding my skirt or pants. Whenever I take photos, we're always talking about how awkward we are. In a way, it makes it less awkward because we're actually acknowledging that it feels awkward. Hopefully that makes sense. And again, if you're having a photo shoot with someone else, hype each other up because it's just gonna make everything more comfortable and more candid and the overall photo shoot process more fun. I think the more you feel confident, the better. So even if you don't feel confident, you should look confident. For me, it contributes to me feeling a little bit more confident. We are ending yet another video with a photo booth video just because I love doing these. The filter is adorable. What more, what can, more I say? can I say? My eyes are extremely dry right now. It's currently 11.23 p.m. I want to end this video by saying a few things. No matter how much I will continue to go on photo shoots, I don't think I will ever have a photo shoot where I feel like not at all awkward. There's always gonna be a time when I'm gonna feel awkward. That's normal. These are more things, as I said in the beginning of the video, that will ease the awkwardness. Like I still get scared when I go out and take photos, especially if there's people walking around. But sometimes I just have to put myself in the mindset. I really want this photo. 
also I have to think about the fact that these people that are walking past I'm probably never going to see them again you should just not care what other people think of you and I know that's easier said than done but just like anything else I feel like the more you expose yourself to it the more comfortable you will get and the more you will develop